What's up everybody? My name is Zach Legier and today I have a 2020 Supra. The car right here is the 3 liter twin scroll single turbocharger inline 6 that makes 335 horsepower with 365 foot pounds of torque. Now this car honestly has a great presence. Just walking around it, I think I'm in love with this thing. We got that huge rear diffuser. We got these nice side skirts along with the hood vent. We got these matte black mirror caps. We also have this matte black front splitter. Now all of these little touches are plastic, but then again, it is a Toyota. So what can we expect? Now we have little vents like these. That sadly do absolutely nothing to the car. Along with that, and we have a one right here. We got these 19 inch wheels wrapped in a 255 Michelin Pilot Sport. 19s in the rear wrapped in a 275. Now we have the keyless entry. And then I really feel like Toyota knocked out the interior. Like we have the carbon fiber with the Supra. We got these Alcatara inserts with these cool looking bucket seats. Now, once we get inside the actual car, the cluster is very beautiful. Now, since it is basically a BMW, just like the M2, like the M3, we can control up here with this little knob right here. And then we have a BMW looking shift knob we have this nice carbon fiber little insert right here. And then the interior is just, I really think they did a great job. Got two subs in the back. And then once we turn this on, we got push button to start. We have sport mode, which opens up the exhaust valves give it a little bit of a rev we go to sport display and just like the m2 did and m3 we have our horsepower and torque ratios up here now once we pop the hood it's one of these double double poles come to the front all we do is just lift up right here absolutely nothing we have this big plastic covering and that's basically all we can see in the engine bay now toyota did add this cool feature of if you wanted to add some strut tower braces on the intake box they left a little insert so you can do that bounce up right here right there no intake on this side so you don't have to worry about that same thing in the trunk the trunk button is right here we pop open the trunk. We have these little pieces right here, which Toyota put so you can mount a bigger wing. Now, as far as trunk space goes, being a super small car, you don't have much to work with. Now we have this nice little touch of the Toyota Supra. Of the line going all the way down. We have the red st stitching on the seat along white stitching along the glove. BMW, I mean Toyota, knocked this car out of the park. Now, truthfully, I don't think it deserves all the hate that it gets. We are in the car now, let's start it up. <laughs> Sounds pretty sick. Put it in drive. get some of that BMW purple. 
visibility is pretty well in here. Dude, I, I love this thing. This thing is so cool. The way the car just feels. Roll up the windows. This thing just sounds amazing. Hear those super sports picking up some rocks back there, throwing it in the fender well. Going over some speed bumps. Handled them pretty well. You can tell the suspension's pretty stiff. The sounds this thing makes. It honestly rides pretty stiff. I will give it that. This thing on a track would be a blast. So here we go, we're pulling out. We'll do a little pull. Oh my God, this thing is quick. That straight six just pulls. Now we'll take this car, this whole time it's been in sport, we'll take it out of sport, put it in normal drive mode. I heard the exhaust valve close, so it's not as loud. Steering felt like it loosened a little bit. And overall, it's just a comfortable car. Like, I'm, I'm surprised on how well they did a job with this thing. They really knocked this thing out of the park. Just the big hips on this thing, the the little the little touches here and there, you know the the plastic pieces. Yeah, if they could have made it a real real vent, but I mean overall, it's not it's not a race car. It's not supposed to be anything super special. This car is just so quick and nimble. I, you really, cars today are getting so big. And I think that this kind of ties ties it back a little bit to the old, like 90s generation of just having that smaller car, that smaller feel. And I love it. I love everything about it. You know, like now the, the 90s Supra, the Mark IV Supra, those things are like, for a decent one now, that's not modded, that's completely stock, higher mileage too, we're looking at $50,000. I feel like that's insane. For $50,000, I'm taking this all day over it. Over it. The power on this is just so instant. People say that they would take a Mark IV Supra over the Mark V. After driving this, after seeing it in person, I'm disagreeing. I'm taking this car all day. So much faster, so much better handling, sounds way better in my opinion. Stock for stock, I'm taking the Mark V Supra all day. This car right here is listed at $52,000. It is used, it has six grand on the clock right now, but it, it feels like it's brand new, looks brand new. I just can't stop ripping this thing. Throws you back in that seat. 
so far out of the cars I've reviewed, I did the M2, I did the M3 CS, I'm taking this car. This car is just such a blast to drive. Now the paddle shifters are, they're on, they're steering wheel mounted, which I, I personally prefer. I don't like the column mounted ones. And they're in a good place. They're not super big, but they're not too small either. Now this car does have a backup camera. And like I said, Toyota really knocked it out of the park with this thing. They really hit the screw, did, did it all. They really overdone themselves. This carbon fiber, this Alcatara, just everything about this car is just truly phenomenal. The Supra little piece right here, the door handles. Now this cup holder thing doesn't open, which I think kind of ridiculous, but it is what it is.